Uh, thank you, Nikki, and thank you for Persa for putting today on. Um, it's really great to, to get out in the field and actually demonstrate some of this ag tech that's being used here and other ag, ag tech farms. Um, Nigel's stolen most of my thunder today about Swan Systems, so I'll probably keep it brief because there's other sessions to go and then there's lunch to come. But effectively, uh, Swan Systems is a, a complete irrigation and nutrient management system. So we're not just looking at a, a, a soil or a vine or, or a, a satellite image, we're bringing everything together. So it's a holistic um, package. It is a software, we do not supply hardware, we utilise existing hardware or like this farm we have um, Harvest, uh, Centec, uh, ICC Pro which I, I guess you've heard from already today but we bring in their data through the back room so the grower is not involved in actually gathering all that data but we bring it into to, uh, to our uh, platform and through a whole series of algorithms we make some sense of it. So here we're bringing in the data from the different data sets, whether it be soil moisture probes, irrigation controller, fertiliser that's gone out, water analysis. Um, and I think there was a question earlier today to Nigel about looking at the salinity going into the soil. We do have drainage algorithms in our software, so you can actually use our software to, to, um, to create a, a leaching um, uh, irrigation to get it through to, the, to further down. A satellite imagery, a drone, um, we're looking at the actual weather. Um, now that could be uh, a weather station on, on site or it could be one nearby. Um, we're also looking at the, um, the forecasted weather which we drag in from BOM in this country, other countries we use IBM, etc. Um, we then, went, during our setup, we will look at your crop type and growth stage, uh, your soil types, um, what, uh, what weather sources you've got, whether you've got a weather station on board or whether we need to look at one nearby or a neighbours. Um, we create your, your nutrient plans with you or your agronomist um, and we create water budgets. Now water is key anywhere in, in the world but particularly um, if you're coming off the bill locally um, we can help manage that, um, that irrigation allocation you have from Bill. So we create um, irrigation schedules, um, we can track um, uh, nutrients um, uh, applied, uh, system alerts um, which is critical, uh, we can look at your allocation status which I've just mentioned and also your, your crop health. Out of that we can create any sort of report you want. If you can dream it up it's, it's creatable from SWAN whether it be compliance re, uh, reporting, that might be uh, sustainability reporting, uh, water allocation, nutrients budgeted against applied, um, and irrigation budgeted against um, applied, and um, uh, we, you can do a full data load. Now, again, it's, the questions come up, who owns the data? The grower owns the data. We use it for no other purpose uh, than uh, creating our dashboard or our um, management, input, uh, management outputs and if ever the grower wants it back, it's, it, it can go back to him in a CSE vial or shared with another provider of some sort. As I mentioned, we, crea we uh, gather in all sorts of uh, different hardware information. This is just a snapshot of what we do. So up on the right hand side, you've got all the different uh, weather stations available. Soil moisture, as I've already mentioned here, is um, uh, Centec and Harvest. Uh, forecasted weather, uh, there's some of the other people we work with um, overseas as well. Satellite imagery um, is involved. Irrigation control, here it's um, marked from ICC Pro or from Parkland, Motec Parkland, but any other sort of controller we can bring data in from. Um, we can uh, schedule integration, so another question earlier today was can we push our our suggested irrigation schedule back into a controller. Yes, we can. Um, our first one was Aquamonics, um, and that's down at Adelaide High School. Uh, the greenkeepers down there use a Swan to create a schedule, and that automatically goes into the controller after they've given it a tick. Um, there's no way in the world you'd want it to go in there without actually looking at it. You might have a mainline problem, or a valve out, or whatever else. So the grower gets the right of, of, of the last refusal. Um, coming in development, we've got Talgill very shortly, the Talgill Dream. We've got the ICC Pro that will be coming very soon, and of course the Dow, uh, Gold Tech. 
plant-based sensors, we can bring those in if any of those are applicable or a grower wants to have them in their irrigation decision decisions, um, it, we can bring them in. So we work in, in that plant-based sensor uh, space, we work on a customer need. Um, uh, if a customer requires it, we'll bring it in. Um, all it, it, again, it comes in through the back, back door with a, through the cloud and an API, but yeah, we can do it. Um, one of the ones here um, of interest is um, the Flora Pulse. That's a micro tensiometer which goes in the trunk. Um, probably more used in tree crops such as almonds, but it is usable in vines. Um, the other one is the CSO logo. There is a, a little bit like the Anthena, or a lot like the Anthena. Um, it's a, um, a canopy temperature uh, sensor looking at a whole panel. Uh, we've been working with them for a couple of years now. Um, just uh, in closing, I, won't, I don't want to hold you up for too long because I know some of the talks have gone over time, but um, in, our, in our management or in our algorithms, we actually look at the crop phase. So there's obviously there's different uh, water requirements for different crop phases. Um, as it's done on this site with Mike McCarthy and other people, um, uh, winter rainfall or winter watering is um, becoming more important. So we actually look at applying a little bit just in winter uh, to keep things topped up for bud burst. And then as the season goes along, our uh, crop coefficients, which utilise the rest of the inputs, um, adjust the, the actual irrigation rates and recommendations. So in closing, uh, I should have said my name's John Pargetta. I'm a grape grower for 30 odd years. I know the pain points of, of grape growers. Um, also here today is Tom Hatcher. Tom's a uh, viticulturalist. Um, he has now joined us um, as our support person. Um, I'll probably come and sign you up, but Tom will be the one that actually sets you up so, and then manages it. Um, we, we, we are a subscription, uh, but we don't just sell it to you and run away. Um, offer full support, ongoing support, and also training, and any, any numbers of training. And we do a, during the growing season, we actually give you a, a fortnightly review, just to let, let you know how you're going. We sit in the background and watch it, so if we see anything going wrong that you may have missed during harvest, particularly when you should be still putting some water out perhaps, um, we'll give you a call and let you know. So we're over in the marquee. Uh, come and see Tom and myself, and thanks again. Yeah.